So what we got here is, um, and I, I want to get talking about everything here with uh, everybody, um, recapping the the Alabama and, and first of all, the Alabama-Notre Dame game. It just seems like Alabama and Notre Dame, Notre Dame just didn't have uh, the 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 – dogs to be able to go with Alabama Alabama's prospects and 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 the players they had Devontae Adams and Najee Harris and and the speed that they had and the physicality was just way too much for Notre Dame Notre Dame you know like them scoring at the end Ian Book is a heck of a player but it just didn't seem like they had enough to be able to hang with um with Alabama and uh, Nick Saban, the way he runs his program, his organization, and how he developed. Now, this Clemson game, Ohio State Clemson game, Ohio State is just taking it to Clemson. They just had a Clemson just had a pick in the end zone, but otherwise, you would have seen uh, a situation where Ohio State would have scored uh, their their forty second point here, um, which is kind of mind boggling that that Ohio State uh, it, has taken it to them in that way. Between running and passing and Sermon, the, the the fact that Sermon has come on the way he has, he's just um, he's just been unbelievable. I mean, it really, really is unbelievable running the ball. He's very hard from the bring down. He's got like the slashing style of running that um, that Clemson just isn't able to handle. And then the the, the passing by Justin Fields, like. Is there, you know, there were some question marks about him, or you know, the last couple of games, but he just came out firing. He's taking hits and he's firing. Um, you know, he just threw a pick here now, so we'll see if Clemson can react. But it seems to be a situation where Ohio State's got this game, and this is a flip from what everybody's thought. I mean, including myself, everybody thought that Clemson was was the better team, and really, the truth is, uh, looks like Ohio State is significantly better team. Uh, than Clemson and losing their their offensive coordinator, maybe this has an impact. We'll see this drive right here that that Clemson has coming out coming out of the half. If they can put some uh, some scoring together, uh, that's going to be a key point, and they're going to have to move quick because they got to make up three touchdowns, and that's not an easy thing to make up. Now, uh, I know Ohio State just I, honestly, I just think Ohio State just need to keep running the ball. I don't know why they didn't bother throwing a pass there. That 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 just they they've been doing what they've been doing all game, just dominating. But um, you know, fourth touchdown would have been a a, a literally a uh, a nail in the coffin for for Clemson. But now Clemson does have a little bit of life and has an opportunity here. Um, the thing that Ohio State has done best is throwing those comebacks, and then and then and then throwing the ball. Uh, you know, as those players are going across the field off of it. Uh, and then obviously run with Trey Sermon. But Clemson has an opportunity here because they've got to get their their speed receivers uh, in some space because the first half they hadn't been able to to really get anything going. Unbelievable game though. I, I have to say it's an unbelievable game and and. Uh, yeah, there's there's no doubt. So. Enjoy the second, rest of the half. and We'll give you some more analysis. I gave you the halftime analysis. It just looks like uh, um, Clemson just defensive backs just could not stay covered. And those comeback routes were killers in third down situations. So now Clemson's got to be able to take it to him and they got to do it fast in order to get back into this game. We'll talk after, after the game.